Ah, it's been, um, you know, I stopped doing that years ago, uh, almost 25 years ago. I just uh, had no interest. Uh, of course, I've been working all through the years, recording with different people, and sometimes traveling with different uh, artists, uh, a lot of uh, Japanese artists and uh, other people in the States. And uh, so I just decided maybe this is a good idea. Uh, I'm interested again. I've been asked to come to Japan uh, many times for many years, and I don't know, um, I was just never really never really uh, interested in uh, being out front, as they say, uh, until very recently. I said, well, why not? So here I am. Well, when I'm working with other people, of course, I play within the context of whatever their music is. And, uh, but I'm always free to play uh, however. I feel uh, against whatever music they're doing. Uh, that's uh, just a natural with me. I mean, I couldn't do it otherwise. I'd have to be able to be free for the most part. Uh, no, um, they tell me that I'm the leader, but uh, <laughs> it's true, yes, it is. Uh, but I like uh, the people that I'm working with, the musicians I'm working with. And uh, I think it's, um, when we're on stage, it's um, everybody, you know, it's uh, one unit. And so I like to make sure that everybody is involved and uh, featured. And they also contribute whatever it is they feel to uh, my music. Sure. Um, and Dugu Chancellor, I've known, uh, I think he was a teenager actually, you know, uh, of course around Los Angeles. And I didn't meet him initially, but he's, he tells me that he used to come um, when he was, I think he was still in high school, um, to see me in concert, you know. And, and we met a few years later and have worked together off and on through the years. And uh, he's certainly one of my favorite drummers. And so, some time ago, I actually, maybe a couple of years ago, I asked him, uh, you know, if I do this, of course you'll be there, won't you? And he said, of course he would, and uh, so here we are. Uh, Clarence McDonald, I've known uh, maybe, oh, 30 years or so. Uh, we did a lot of session work together, and he's also an arranger, and he's done some, uh, on uh, a couple of albums for me back in the 70s, he's done some string arrangements, and and things like that. And we've been on a lot of record dates together. As well as Ndugu, I've been on record dates with him. Byron Miller I met because when I was working with the Crusaders in the, um, I guess, traveling that is, in the 80s. And he uh, was one of the bass players that was used by the Crusaders. And uh, uh, he's very good at what he does. And uh, so that's, uh, these are the people that I, I chose and uh, I'm enjoying them very much. They're very good musicians. I like both, sitting and standing. Um, it depends on how I feel. Sometimes I think um, the ballads, maybe I sit down, and um, well, sometimes I stand up too. <laughs> Well, this is the side of the stage that I've uh, worked on for the last uh, <clears throat> 50 years. So I, li <laughs> I like this, uh, this side. Yeah, that, that's, uh, most of them are songs that I've written. Uh, but there are some songs on the set that, that I've enjoyed all through the years. And so I, I choose those songs. They, they mean something to me um, in some, some fashion or another. And so I play those songs. But of course, I use uh, my own feeling and my own arrangements on those songs. Well, you know, I've, I guess I have about 
12 albums through the years, and actually more if I count uh, the compilations or things I've done with groups. Um, so I have a, a, a lot of songs to choose from. And um, these just uh, felt natural as I, as I looked down a list uh, one day, uh, or more than once, actually. And these songs felt, uh, felt good to me, and I felt like I could reproduce those songs, and maybe in a different fashion, but nevertheless, it would be those songs. I had a much longer list in the beginning, but I narrowed it down to these, these songs that we're doing now. Well, yeah, I think um, because I played a Gibson Birdland for 25 years on um, the majority of the recordings I did when I was busy every day in the recording studios. And this is pretty much a copy, the, the neck is a, is a copy of that Gibson Birdland. Uh, it's um, a thinner and lighter because uh, I don't like carrying all that weight on my shoulders anymore. So, <laughs> so I had, had this made especially for me, and, um, and I like it very much. It's a good sound. It has the Pizio pickup, which is an acoustic pickup, and it has an EMG, which is an electric pickup, and you can combine the two sounds. Uh, it's not perfect, but it, it works you know, fairly well for what I, the sound that I like. <laughs> well, not really, but I played it for so long. I played it for like 25 years, so it's, it's, it's an older guitar. And I played it so long every day that uh, it has actually almost a hole in the back of it from on my hip bone, you know, from holding it all those years. Of course, I could have it repaired, but I, I choose not to. I still have it, of course, but I don't, I don't play it. Um, I don't use um, guitar effects because uh, one of the things that I've worked on uh, for most of, of my life is my uh, touch. And so if, if I use an effects, then of course it changes my tone. And the tone uh, for me is the most important thing. So I, I like just my uh, hands and uh, whatever I touch comes out as true as possible. It's still electric, but it's, uh, it's a more true tone, and you can feel my touch much better. If I went through some effects, then, of course, it would cancel out. It would change everything. So I just don't use it. It is. It's, um, it's a Fender DeVille, and I use it uh, because, although I haven't been out front or a leader, I've worked with a lot of different people and sometimes you have to rent amps depending on where you're uh, if you're traveling a lot like I am it's much more difficult to carry your own amplifiers or equipment these days so this is an easy rental I mean it's very common amp and it's and it's um, you know dependable so um, I like it or I've adjusted to it <laughs> 